Başalavam, kahala gihawa başım yavşay, başım rakakıdaş. Dabanın sadece yılda support source of great millstone. Başalavam, you since see Akim believers in Yahweh Yavşay, in spirit and truth and sincerity. Uh, we are the Hebrew Israelites, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the twelve tribes, which I uh, know today is uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, we are the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, and those of you who've been scattered among these different nations, Yahweh Hashem Yavşay is only looking for the remnant of his nation. Okay, the chosen within the chosen nation. That's these are the ones who are going to see salvation. Okay, in our lifetime, all right? Because salvation is only for the Israelites, the sons of Jacob, the twelve tribes. Malachi three and six says, "What well, I am the Lord, therefore I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob, are ye not consumed?" Uh, that's the, the main reasons why we're still standing as a nation of Israel. Okay, as the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It is because the Most High does not change. Okay, that's part of the sole purpose why we're still standing here. That's why we're not consumed among these nations. Because if if the Most High did not have His protection upon okay upon the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the sons of Jacob would have been long been 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 been, uh, been eradicated as a nation. Would have been all been been uh, been exterminated by now. Right, but the Most High is merciful unto His creation. Okay, He knows our framework. All right, therefore He why He delights in mercy and in judge. He's 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 a power of judgment and He de He and He delights in mercy. And this is mercy from Yahweh Shai, having His men set up on the highways and hedges throughout the four winds of the earth. Okay, to give you one, give you one into the flock. Okay, for the sealing. Okay, of the elect of the of the, of the twelve tribes. Let's get Jeremiah twenty-eight. It's a Jeremiah chapter twenty-eight, verse eight says. Uh, uh, this is a book of Jeremiah chapter 28 and 8 because uh, because we're heading straight for what for for very serious times uh, the current uh, as, as, uh, as has been established right now is all based upon wickedness because uh, we're here to chant down Babylon aka America uh, and, and all these different societies that, that have been set that have set up themselves up according according to to, uh, to the image okay of Babylon okay following the customs of Babylon the great which is America okay which is going to be destroyed by fire very soon the times of World War Three, okay, and we, we, we're here to give you warning, okay, of, of such things which are which are going to happen very soon. The time of devastation, such as never been seen before, okay. It's a Jeremiah chapter twenty-eight, or at verse eight says, "The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries, because right? meaning what all the prophets of old been prophesy against whatever societies were set up, because right? you got to ask yourself." These guys who are leading, uh, who are leading the masses in the so-called uh, churches, are they prophesying against the current establishment? Because uh, that's that's the work that have been done by the prophets of old. They've been prophesying against whatever society that's been set up. Okay, because all these different societies that have been set up before time, they were all in opposition against Yahweh Hashem Shah. Okay, henceforth you see, okay, the nation of Israel. When you read throughout throughout the Old Testament, you're gonna come to the realization that look, man, no matter. What happened? Okay, we, we always end up finding ourselves in captivity because somewhere along the lines, okay, we end up going off. Okay, we ended up transgressing the laws that the commandments of the Holy Father. So how much more these nations, okay, who are now the ones who, who have been exalted on on high, who are the ones who are in rulership? Okay, mainly the, the top head of the heathens, which is Esau Edom. Okay, that's the one who's leading the pack. Okay, that's the one who's leading the the, the, uh, the nations right now. Job 9 and 24 says, "What well, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. So how much more now? Okay, that's, what, that's, that's part of the reason why the downfall of the society is going to be far more greater than what, if, what, what, what has happened okay, with all these different uh, <clears throat> empires that ruled before us. This, is gonna be, this place is reserved unto fire. Okay, that's how this place is going down. So Jeremiah 28 verse 8 says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. It says, it says of, of war and of evil and of pestilences. Because we're telling you, look man, this is what's going to happen in, in, this, uh, in this generation, in our lifetime. Because this society is, is established upon wickedness. Okay, it is not, it's, it's not a base. Okay, the laws of the land are not based upon the Holy Scriptures. That's why we, what we're prophesying against the society. Okay. We are prophesying against it. Okay, tell you, look, man, we have bad news for this society. Okay, we have bad news for this society. Okay, it's all gonna be thrown down. Okay, okay, by great violence. Okay, and the main place are gonna be destroyed by fire. It's gonna be America. Okay, 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 um, uh, relative, relatively known as Babylon the Great, the mother of all harlots. Okay, the virgin daughter of Babylon. 
okay, who ought to be destroyed and who is going to be destroyed very soon. Okay, and it's going to be done by what, by, by the way of what intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missiles. That's how the society is going to go down eventually. Uh, and we see the downfall of this place, Job 24 and uh, verse 1. Okay, they that know the most how do, do, do they not see this time? We see the times that we're living in. Second and verse 9 chapter says, Well, measure the other times diligently in itself. Okay, and we've been busy been doing that since since what since uh, the apostles and elders have been doing it. Okay, we've entered into their labors doing exactly the same thing. The times of war, the times of destruction. Okay, if you're not going to be, be, be under, as it says, that, as scripture says in the book of uh, Psalms 91, if you're not going to be found under the almighty wings of the Heavenly Father, you're, you're going to be caught up in, in this upcoming destruction. And your death is going to be in vain. Uh, because among the saints are going to be those who are going to have to die for the truth. Okay, there's going to be those who are going to be able to be, be martyrs. Okay, for the sake of for the sake of the testament of Yahweh Shah. Okay, and there is neither there's no death there's no death for the elect. Okay, it is, we only have what we only have rest. Okay, we only have rest, and we are still seeking that rest. Okay, that's why that's why we're standing upon our feet. How cook the second chapter says, "I will stand upon my watch." Okay. That's what we're supposed to be doing, standing upon our watch, condemning this society, man. All, all kind of madness is going on. Okay, the LGBTQ, okay, all kind of crazy nonsense that's happening, man. Women being, being exalted, okay, in, in leadership positions. That's all kind of craziness that's happening in society. And that's part of the things that we're supposed to be, to be prophesying against. Okay, so look, man, this is what's going to happen for you, for, for, for this society, if it, if it continues on doing what it's been doing. All right. This is the prophet which prophesied of peace. All right, because since now here we are, we this this what this this uh, there have always always have been divisions. All right, and they're not gonna go anywhere until the kingdom be established. Because there's no unity. All right? there's no absolutely no unity. The unity is gonna be found among among the members of the elect. Okay, the church, the true church of, of Amashiach Yahweh Shah. Okay, the, the true saints. That's the only, that's the only unity that's gonna be found. Outside all of that, okay, Abel 3 and 3 says, can two, can two work together except they be agreed? Okay, there's, there's gonna, always going to be divisions until the kingdom be established. Well, because when, once the kingdom get established, uh, okay, because once the kingdom get, get uh, established, there won't be any more rumors, any more questions, okay? The truth is going to be made manifest more and more, okay? Because the problem is still have those who are still doubting you know, the word of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. And they're all going to be judged accordingly, okay? They're all going to be judged accordingly, okay? This is Jeremiah chapter 28, uh, verse, uh, verse 9 says, The prophet which prophesieth of peace, says, When the word of the, the prophet shall come to pass, says, Then shall the prophet be known that the Lord have truly sent him, okay? Because well, we're not here to tell you about peace, okay? We're here to tell you, to warn you, okay? The Lord says, what in the book of Ezekiel says, Give them warning from me, thou son of man. Okay, because we're heading straight for the for the times of what destruction, such as never been seen before. Okay, these are the times we live in. It, the times of after chaos. Okay, it seems normal right now, so so to speak. Okay, but the walls, the uh, the the world and all wars is brewing right now. Okay, this is the season of war. Okay, the season of what of famine, pestilences, all kind of diseases are going to be let loose very soon. Okay, because we are living in the days of judgment gruesome judgment okay the plagues of egypt are going to what be reloaded right now ebola you think that, that that's a uh, uh that's that look man the case of uh, ebola is, has not been that serious okay okay in comparison to what's going to come right now okay the destruction that the most High has laid up okay for all the sinners okay and on all those who are ungodly okay on and upon all these different healings look man it's going to be something Hey, something out of this world, man. Okay, because the judgment that's gonna that's gonna be uh, be executed upon upon the earth is coming straight from on high, from Yahweh Bashmi Shah. Okay, it's gonna be what a divine judgment. Okay, and we're gonna need a divine intervention to be saved out of this fucking hellhole that we live in. Okay, this this is the worst society ever in history. Okay, it's the worst kind of a society. So, so how the heck can you be preaching peace? There's no peace. The only peace is what is for the elect of Yasharala. Okay, the elect of Yahabashim Yashar. That's the only peace that we're only gonna find. 
Okay, that's only the only peace that's gonna be found. Okay, the peace. Okay, between the elect, beginning of the elect and Yahweh yeah, and, and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's the only peace we bring. Okay. Because the whole majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you still love this world, man. Okay, you're still part of the world. So so how the hell can we say how, how the hell can we possibly say there's gonna be peace for you? No, man, there's not gonna be any form of peace for you. Okay, let's get Amos. There's a book of Amos. <clears throat> let's get the book of Amos. Alright. Because destruction is coming. There's no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. Alright. And we have the wicked ruling right now. So it's not going to end well. Okay. This is a book of uh, <clears throat> Amos. There's no peace. Because two thirds of Yasharal of so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you, you know, seeking Yahweh, Shem Yahushua. So how the hell can, 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 can there be any form of peace for you? There is no peace. Okay. Peace is only found. Okay, under the precept, okay, of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. Okay, that's the only form of peace that you're gonna find. Other than that, there's no peace. Okay, in any form, shape, or okay, of size, or, or proportion, there's no peace. Okay, only destruction that's 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 gonna be brought forth very soon. Okay, that's what the scripture says in the Book of Corinthians. Through the terror of the Lord, we even persuade men. Okay, we far we, we are far persuaded of better things, man. Okay, because we see the upcoming destruction that the Most High has determined, okay, against the two thirds and against the nations. All right, this is Amos chapter 5. This is Amos 5 and 4 says, Thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. Okay, seek the Lord then so that you can be able to live. Because if not seeking the Heavenly Father, you're going you're gonna to surely die. Okay, you're going you're gonna to die gruesome deaths. Okay. You want to die horrible ways if you don't seek your Hashem Yahshua, you, you sons of Jacob, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, your descendants who have been scattered among these nations. The Most High is calling unto you, man. Okay, He's stretching forth, He's stretching forth what His arm unto you, but you still not, you still not taking heed unto the refreshing. This is the refreshing, yeah. Okay, this is the refreshing, man. Okay, we're in where we, we He does what He calls the weary uh, to rest. But two thirds are not seeking Yahweh Hashem therefore they're not going to seek this rest. Okay, they're not, they're, they're not, they're not looking at this as, as being rest. Okay, it is, it is as what is a burden unto them. The word of Yahweh Hashem to the two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native, Native Americans, you, you Israelites, this word is, see, is seen okay, as a burden unto you. Okay, it's, it's, it's like a heavy yoke upon you. You don't want to take it. Okay, you don't want to serve the Lord. You don't even know what it takes to save and serve the Yahweh Hashem Yahushah in the first place. Okay, that's why that's that's why there's no peace for two thirds of Yasharal, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. There's no peace for you because you're not seeking the Heavenly Father, nor His judgment. Okay. This is Amos five and four again says, "Thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live." Okay. All right. And, and the ones who are going to be seeking Yahweh Hashem Yahshua are, are the elect. These are the ones who are going to be seeking Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. The rest have been, bl have been blinded. So they can't possibly be seeking the Lord in the first place. Okay, because they've been blinded unto the truth. The God of this world have blinded their eyes. Okay, and the Most High made, made sure of it. Man. Okay, pursuant to the book of Isaiah 6 and 9. Okay, let's get that Isaiah 6 and 9 and go to Corinthians. This is Isaiah chapter 6 and 9. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 6 and 9. Because a lot of people don't even know, okay, the Heavenly Father, how serious, how, how, how scary Yahweh Hashem Yahshua can get. Okay, Exodus 15 and 3 says, what? Well, the Lord is a man of war. Okay, a lot of people don't even know that, that He, he is a man of war. Okay, they think that the Heavenly Father is all love and all love. Oh man, He's a perfect, He's perfect balance. Okay. He's perfect balance. Okay. That's why you have to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. Because look at, look, look at the times of old. Look at history. Okay. What the Mosa, when he executes judgment, what happens? Masses and masses and thousands, thousands upon millions of people dies. Okay. Gruesome judgment. Look what happened with Pharaoh. Okay. And, and all the Egyptians and, and all Pharaoh and all his, uh, his armies. Okay. That's supposed to spark fear within you 
Okay, this uh, this Isaiah chapter six. All right, verse uh, verse nine. Verse nine says, and he said, Go and tell these people, Hear ye indeed, but I understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. They don't even see what's actually happening. Okay, when they see the men of the Abashmiel shot, okay, the whole free lack, okay, out there on the highways and hedges. They don't even understand this man. They, don't, they see, but they don't perceive. They don't, but they, they, they are unable to perceive. Okay, the seriousness of the work that we're doing. They are unable to do that. Okay, they are unable to do that. If they, if you were able to perceive and understand what your eyes see and what your ears hear, look, man, you be you you will be trembling right now. Okay, you will be you will be trembling right now. Okay, you will be scared out of your fucking pants. Okay, but that's not the case. Okay, because the wall of because uh, because uh, Christianity mainly has taught that the Father is all forgiving and all love. You can do whatever you want to do. Your your sins are already covered. Okay, that's the part of the reason why we're standing upon our watchmen, condemning this fucking society. Okay, that has perverted the judgment of the Hal Pashim Yahusha. All right. Uh, let's keep on keep reading. It says Isaiah, okay, six and nine. Well, since you don't perceive, since you don't have the understanding, there's a reason behind it. Okay, there's a reason why the masses don't understand the truth. Okay, there's a reason behind it. The Most High has an ultimate purpose for it. Okay, there's a reason behind it. It doesn't blind people for for nothing. It's gonna go. Let's, let's keep reading. This is Isaiah six, okay, verse uh, ten says, make the heart of these people fat and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes lest they it says, least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So the Mosa does not heal, does not want, want to heal. Okay, the two thirds of Yasharalo, Bisoko, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Mosa does not want to heal you purposely. Okay, so he can see your destruction, so he can see you die and crawl. Okay, in the most gruesome, violent ways. That's the in intention of Yahweh Pashim Shah. That's what he wants to see. Okay. That's exactly what he wants to see, and he's gonna get exactly what he's he what he has a uh, purpose. Okay, for for, for 66.6 percent .6 of you of you Israelites, man, that's nearly that's nearly 70 percent of the whole nation, man. That's gonna be cut off and die. Okay, that that's a that's a lot of number. Okay, that's a lot of souls, man. That's a, that have been born in vain, ordained by Yahweh Hashem Okay. Those who are just here to make up numbers, okay, who are gonna be uh, fueled to the sword and fueled to the fire, and though fueled to the fire to those who who, who are scattered, okay, among these nations, whereby 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 these missiles are gonna are gonna hit, and those of you men who are amongst all these nations, man, you're not even safe, okay. That's because you know you're not in a, in a in a place whereby whereby the country have a, a nuclear uh, capability. You think you're safe? You're not safe, man. The most I got pestilences. He got he got the teeth of wild beasts. Jeremiah 15. Okay, he has he has every single angle covered, so you can't escape. It is impossible to escape from the judgment of Yahweh Shemayasha. Galatians 6 says, "Why well, be not deceived? He is not mocked. Whatsoever man sow, that shall he also reap." Okay. Now uh, verse 11. So since the Mosad does not want does want does, he 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 deli deliberately okay has made sure that certain number okay you sons of Jacob you're gonna be blinded. You're not gonna see the truth, so that so that he makes sure he's not gonna heal you, man. He doesn't want to heal everybody, okay. Even look, man. The Most High is terrible, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into their hands. Let me get that in Hebrews 10. All right, so Hebrews chapter 10 and 31. All right, let's get that one. It's a Hebrews. Oh, it's the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. Let's get that one. Because most people don't even have that kind of an understanding that how much of a fearful thing it is to fall into the hands. How much of it is a very scary thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashim Asha. They don't even have that kind of understanding. Because they've been taught, okay, the understanding and the fear of Yahweh Bashim Asha has been taught unto them through the precept of men. Okay. Not of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, but of man's teachings. That's why the masses are going to die horribly very soon. Okay, the Sahibis 10 and 31 says, is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It is a fearful thing. 
okay because he can catch you in, he can catch you man on, on, on all kinds of angles okay he can catch you you can't escape from the judgment of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai because our power is a what he's a consuming fire okay was that in Hebrews I believe it's 10 Uh, let's, let's check this out. It's a Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews 9. Uh, it speaks about that, that, that our power is the why He's a consuming fire. Uh, that's why you gotta fear your heart, Bashim at all times. Because uh, at any time, He can take you out, man. And those of you who still, still want to confess your heart, Bashim Asha, the Messiah got, got some kind of judgment reserved unto you, man. You best believe that. Uh, you best believe all of that. All right, it's uh, back to Isaiah uh, six and uh, six and eleven. It says, then said he, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, and, and he answered, until the cities be wasted. Okay, it says until the cities be wasted, without inhabitant and the house without men, and the land be utterly de desolate. Okay, it's the most high. He's reserving. Okay, you unto darkness. Okay, you being blinded. <clears throat> okay. Until when? Until the, the, actually the whole thing goes down. Until famine of the way comes in, you're going to be still be blinded. Okay. Until martial law comes in. Okay. Okay. The global, on a global scale, the, impl the implement, implementation okay, of, of, of the RFID chip, the mark of the beast being, being implemented, you're going to be still be blinded to the truth. But when destruction comes, okay, the most is going to open your eyes. You want to see all oh, shit, man. This, this is the reason why when you die, when the Moses finally uh, puts his judgment on you, then you want to see, man, you've been governor, but it's going to be too late, man. Okay, you're going to regret it. Okay, you're going to, you, you're going to regret, okay, the moment you, you, you scoff. Okay, the moment you make light of this truth, man. Okay, as the scripture says, some went their ways and they make light of it. Okay, hey, there's nothing new under the sun. The same thing we see happening right now. Okay, a lot of people pass by, okay. They take this for a joke. They already know what time is it. Okay, they already know all of that. Okay, but it's still blinded until this very day. They don't. They don't even understand the seriousness of. Okay, of the times we're living in. These are the times of war. Okay, the time of. This is a space of repentance unto the elect. And a time of gruesome judgment and war. Okay. Let's get get a Corinthians. Is a. But well, it speaks about what if our gospel be hid, is hid uh, to them that are lost. Okay, because we're not we're not uh, ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Okay. You know what? Let me just get this one. Second Corinthians. All right. This is a Second Corinthians four. Okay, this is a Second Corinthians chapter four. This uh, this is a Second Corinthians chapter four. This uh, verse three it says, "But it says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost." Because uh, the most, like I read in, uh, in Isaiah the sixth chapter, says what he has blinded the masses deliberately, okay, purposely, so that he could not heal them. Okay, that's the reason why the masses have been blinded. To the truth, to the true knowledge, understanding of the Heavenly Father, because He doesn't want to heal them. Okay, because once, once, once they hear the word, they, they're going to repent, and and the, and the what, and the fear is going to is going to fall upon them, and they and they're going to they, and they're going to want to repent and seek the face of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. So He doesn't want that to happen to the masses. Okay, to the to, to the great great uh, greater part of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He doesn't He doesn't want to see that. Okay, that's why we understand that two thirds have been blinded. Okay, we're not losing sleep over you not understanding this truth, man. Okay, we understand prophecy is, is being played out. Okay, to those who believe, they believe, and those who don't believe, hey, it makes no difference. Okay, it's Romans uh, 3 and 3 says, What? So, what if some do not believe? Okay, so what if some don't, don't believe? Okay, it's uh, 2 Corinthians 4, and uh, verse 3 says, If our gospel be hid, it is, it is, uh, is hid to them that are lost. Uh, Cause you lost if you, if you if you if you, if you, you haven't come up uh, if the Moses has not opened your eyes, okay, this day that you're an Israelite, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you're still rejecting Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. 
Guess what the Most High has blinded you, man? Okay? And you are lost. Okay? Simple. You, 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 you're still lost. Okay? It says uh, verse 4, it says, In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Because they don't, they, what, what do they do? They don't believe the truth. They don't believe in the record of Yahweh Hashem as the scriptures have said. They don't believe that. But they believe in lies of men, the precepts of men. Okay, what what these theo, uh, theological schools be teaching people? Man? Okay, that's what they believe in. Because the God of this world, he's the he's the one who's behind all of the teachings of this place, man. Okay, all these different fucking fucked up doctrines that people, the masses are believing in, he's behind all of that. He's the God of this world. Who's the God of this world? Okay, Esau. Okay, the the uh, the right hand side of of Satan of, of the spiritual demons demon Satan. Okay, that's the God of this world, man. Esau, the so-called white, aka the so-called white man, which is Esau Edom. Okay, he's the God of this world who, who has blinded them, the masses. Okay, they believe in his doctrine, the doctrine of lies. Okay, these different fables that the Lord came came for everybody, and when he comes, he's coming to save every single single soul on the planet. And yeah, that's a fucking lie. Okay, people are going to be devastated, and they're going to be shocked when the Lord comes back. Okay, at his second return, they're going to be shocked. Okay, because the God of the swallows has blinded their minds. They don't see the truth. They can't even perceive the truth. Man. Even if you pay them to see the truth, they couldn't even see it. Okay, because they've been blinded by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. To not see the truth. To walk in ignorance and in gross darkness. Isaiah 60 says, uh, was it Isaiah 60? It says, Arise ye, okay, and shine. The light is come. Okay, because gross darkness is what will cover the people. The masses have been have been covered in gross darkness. These different philosophy, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, okay, Scientology, all these different philosophies of men. They've been all been blinded. Okay, because of the God of this world. Uh, let's get that in, uh, in Luke 14. Who is this God of this world that's blinded people, man? Uh, it's uh, the it's, uh, book of Luke 4 and 17, I believe. It's uh, Luke... Uh, so like it's like Luke chapter 4 verse uh, verse 6 this this when when you have a shower after he fasted okay it's going to show you who's the God of this world uh, who's the one that okay that, that blessed the masses in, the, in this place around okay who have you who is the one you have to please in order for you to be successful all right so Luke chapter 4 verse 6 says and the devil said unto him you know what, let me start at verse 5. This, uh, <clears throat> let's start at 1. This is uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 1. It says, then, it says And Yahweh Shai, being, being full of the, Holy, of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit uh, into the wilderness. And being 40 days attempted of the devil, uh, he fasted about 40 days and 40 nights. Okay, that was a, one heck of a long epic uh, fast. Okay. And fast is what is healthy, man. It is good for the spirit, okay? It is good for the soul, okay? It is part of the, the, the okay, the weapons, okay, of a warfare. It's what is fasting, okay? It says, uh, <clears throat> that's, all we, that's why when you go back to the book of Mark, okay, when some of the disciples were, were saying, Lord, why couldn't we uh, cast out the, this, the, uh, 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 the death, this, uh, this demon that was, was uh, on, on this man, he says, he says, this only, this kind, it can only be, be cast out by prayer and by fasting. Okay, it shows you fasting is a one heck of a pub, one, one of one of the, the most powerful uh, tools to use. Okay, and you, you must have that in, in your in your in your in your in, in your in your in, in your armory. Okay, in your archery, you must have uh, fasting. Okay, being part of a part of your weapon. All right, it says. Uh, Luke 4 and, uh, <clears throat> and 2 says, and, uh, and being 40 uh, days tempted of the devil, and it says, in those days he ate, not, he ate nothing, when, it says, and when they were ended, he after what hungered, uh, it says, and the devil said unto him, if thou be the son of man, you know, let me, jump, let me go down to the point, okay, this is verse, uh, verse 4, it says, and Yahweh Shai said unto me, it is written, that man should not live by bread alone, by the word of the Most High. Uh, this this was fueling us, man. That's, that's the only thing that's keeping us going. Okay? That's the only thing that's keeping us going. Is what is the word of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai. Okay? Lord willing, we do this work until the end. Until the end come. 
uh, and the end has been made manifest right now. We see the end of the society, man. It's going to be a horrific end. Okay, I'm going to get that in Wisdom Solomon. Okay, it says, uh, it says, and the devil, verse, Luke chapter 4, verse 5 says, and the devil taking, taking him up into the high mountain, he showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Okay, he did well, some, some sort of a, proje of a pro projection. Okay, a 3D, uh, 3D uh, projection showing all these different empires which were to come. Uh, it says, uh, 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 what's the call, they call it things, this thing, a hologram, so to speak. Or it says, uh, it says, and the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for it is delivered unto me, to whomsoever I will give it. So, in this society, in order for you to, to make it, you gotta sell, okay, uh, Satan himself, man. okay. You gotta go through the, the left hand side, because the most high man in, in this lifetime, he's only gonna give you, okay, what? Daily bread, what is necessary. Okay, what is what is enough sufficient for you to go by day by day? The Lord's prayer in Matthew the sixth chapter says, "What give us today our daily bread, the f the food which is convenient for us." Okay, not not riches, not poverty, but that, but that which is sufficient. Okay, and th that's what the righteous person will be seeking for. Okay, not too much, not too little, just just enough for me to get by. Okay, going back to the book of Proverbs, the 29th chapter goes into that. Okay, because we're not seeking the riches of this world. Because in order for you to receive the riches of this world, you gotta go through what? Uh, you gotta go through the left hand side. Because Job 9 and 24 says, What? Well, the earth has been given into the hands of the, the wicked. Okay, and this, this scripture then in Luke, the fourth chapter, furthermore proves it. Okay, that's why we, we have these, all these people are doing all these kind of uh, wicked uh, sacrifices. Okay. In order for them to, uh, to attain unto power and to glory. All these different sacrifices which they be doing, all these different rit uh, ritualistic uh, demonic act activities that be doing. Okay, because they gotta please Satan. Okay. Because and we're not about that, man. Scripture says, but well, no man can serve two masters. We're only here to serve Yahweh Pashmi Ashai, none else. Okay, to fuck money. Okay, fuck the riches of this world, man. We're seeking the true riches, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding of Yahweh Pashmi Ashai. All these things they're gonna be added unto us eventually. Okay, they're all gonna be added unto us eventually. So we're not seeking those things, man. Okay, we're not seeking all those things, man. all these fucking fancy things. Okay, that's why the scripture says, "But in Proverbs, it's, if riches increase, set not your heart upon them." Well, of course, the fashion of this world it will pass away, because we're not looking for riches of this world, but of the of, of the kingdom which is to come. All right, and it. Which are, which are all going to be gaining righteousness, okay, and an everlasting kingdom. That's how this thing is going to go down, okay, with great violence, man. Okay, the riches, you know, they're not going to prosper you, okay, they're not going to save you, okay, <clears throat> they're not going to save you, all right. <clears throat> says, and the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for it is delivered unto me. Who delivered uh, the, uh, all the power uh, unto Satan? Okay, who, who gave him all this power? The Heavenly Father gave him. Okay, he never fought. He couldn't resist the power of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. It is impossible. Okay, th those are the part, uh, part of the lies that people have been taught. Okay, that Satan took, took to the third of, of, of the heaven, okay, of the angels, and, and, what, and they rebelled and raged war against the Heavenly Father. That's pure madness. Okay, Satan never fought against the Lord. Nobody can ever win a fight against Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Okay, this is Satan himself speaking here, saying, look, man, all, all these things will I give unto you because all the power has been granted unto me. Okay, that's what he's saying. Because this whole notion that Satan fought against the angels, there was war, it is all a fucking lie. Okay, and it's one heck of a lie. Okay, these are some of the fables that the masses have been taught. Okay, these are, these are part of the strongholds. Okay, that be what they've been, that been broken down right now. Okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, his spirit resting upon his upon his uh, his vessels, his chosen vessels, or his mouthpiece, he servants the prophets. Amos 3 and 7, the most I do nothing but he reveals his secrets unto his servants the prophets. Okay. You know what? Let's get this in Job, man. Because this is a part of the lies that people have been taught. Okay. There was some kind of rebellion Satan fought against the Heavenly Father. It's what is it's all a lie. He never thought he's he's still un, un, under the commandment of the Heavenly Father. Hold on. Hold on.
Chop chop. Ah, le pot, ça monte. Yeah. So, so Job chapter 2 verse, uh, uh, verse 1 says And again there was a day when the sons of God came <coughs> and to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came among them to present himself before the Lord Okay, he showed up Okay, if he rebelled show us what, what did Satan rebel man? he never rebelled in the first place he couldn't re uh, rebel okay he could not rebel okay in fact let's go we're going to go back to the book of Samuel says what well, rebellion is a, is a sin of witchcraft okay okay so if, if, if Satan actually rebelled the most I should, should have gotten rid of uh, rid of Satan and all, and all those who followed him as these so-called uh, uh, Christianity uh, these self-proclaimed Christians uh, have, been, have, been, have been teaching people okay he, he should have been destroyed immediately all right because all the sins let me get that in same mode all right let's get that all right because the Lord says what well, to obey is better than sacrifice it's a second first Samuel 15 all right verse, uh, verse 21 and Samuel said have the Lord have a great delight in vain offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord says behold to, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams for rebellion is a sin, is a sin of, west, of uh, witchcraft and we'll go back to the book of Exodus as well that shall not suffer wish to leave okay <clears throat> it says and, and it says and stubbornness is as iniquity and adultery on all these these these, uh, these sins these transgressions are punishable by what by death so why the hell would the Lord allow Satan to rebel against him in the first place? And after he had rebelled against him as they as they as they dubbed it, okay. Why why would the Mosas still allow him uh, to be ruling the earth? It makes no fucking sense. Okay. It makes no fucking sense. Okay, these are the part of the strongholds that a lot of you Israel you still caught up in them. All kind of madness you still caught up in them. All right, you still caught up in this all this bullshit, this nonsense. Okay, that's why the Lord says, "Look, man, I've blinded these people, man. Just make their heart uh, <clears throat> dull of hearing." Okay. Because uh, a lot of you Israel man, you, you don't know these scriptures. <coughs> Neither can you can you accept the truth. Or uh, because you're not of the light. Okay. Yahweh Shai said it like look man, you ye are your father the devil. Okay, and of, and of the will will you, will you do? Uh, okay. Because two thirds of Yeshua have immersed themselves okay into worshiping and bowing down to Esau's way. Okay, following the customs of these nations, Halloween right now. Uh, all kind of fucking abominations, man. All kind of demonic uh, activities happening right now, man. Okay. Hey, the most I, may, may the most I have our shame and shame and kill all these motherfuckers who are celebrating, who are celebrating all these kind of wicked uh, customs, man. He's, the law says what in Jeremiah 10. Okay, it says, it says, learn not, it says, learn not the ways of the heathens, man. Okay, choose none of the, the oppressors, choose none of his ways in, in, uh, in Proverbs, man. Okay. We, we are a holy nation, man. But, but look what, 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 was, uh, what, what has happened to the masses, okay, to the two thirds of, of Israel, man. Still following the customs of, of these nations. All right? And the Mosai, you think the Mosai does not see that? Jeremiah says, What? 
another eyes upon the truth. You see all this madness, the, the craziness and the madness that's happening, man. Okay. And everything has been weighed down into a balance. Everything has been reserved, okay, uh, unto judgment. Okay. You want to cry very soon as the scripture says in Amos, Oh my God, oh my God, we, we know thee. All right? But it's going to be too late. Okay, because you, you would have failed to serve Yahweh Pashim Shai in spirit and truth. Okay. Believing that, believing that Asian angels rebel, rebelled against Yahweh Pashim Shai, that's madness, man. Okay. Believing that all nations can make, all nations can make it, that's a goddamn fucking lie. And, you, and you're going to pay for, 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 your, for, your, for the sin of what of disbelief. For whatsoever is not of faith is what is of sin, yeah. And sin is what is a, is a, is a, the, uh, the transgression of the law. Okay, let's get the. Let's get this. Mm, this uh, is a Matthew. Oh, let's get the book of Matthew real quick. Because Yahweh Shai said, he said, look, man, you are your father, the devil. And of the loss of a father, will you do? Okay. So the book of uh, Matthew. Let's get that very quick. Because the Lord has been. Uh, look, man, Yahweh Shah, when he was walking the earth, he was cursing up the wicked. Okay, of Yasharala, man. Okay. The same thing. The same thing we're supposed to be doing right now. Okay, the exact same thing we're supposed to be doing right now. Okay, let's get that. In fact, let me get that one in nine. Luke, I believe, also. Okay, because Yahweh Shai said it, man. He says, Look, man, you are your father, the devil, and the last of your father, what do you do? Okay, this is St. John, uh, chapter 8, all right, verse, uh, verse 44. It says, For ye are your father, the devil. And of the last of your father, will you do? Because you, who was he speaking to? Okay, to the wicked scribes and Pharisees, the wicked of our nation, and the same wicked of our nation is still here. Okay, that, that same uh, spirit, spirit, okay, of rebellion is still around heavily, much more worse and worse. Okay, as things have gotten. Says so Saint John. You know what? Let me jump up. This is a Saint John chapter eight. This is a Saint John chapter eight, verse uh, verse forty-three. Okay, it says uh, what? It says instead of verse forty-two, it says Yahweh Shai uh, said unto them, "If the Most High were your father, you would you would love me, because they were rejecting Yahweh Shai at that time. And still this day, we still got you still got Israelites who don't believe." Okay, in the New Testament, we don't believe in Yahusha. See, we still have that happening right now. That furthermore shows you, man, who, who, who the sons of Jacob are. Okay, that's the spirit bear, bearing witness, man. Okay, it, it, it's still bearing witness, though it be in, in wickedness. Okay, but it's still bearing witness. But it's fine, man. Everything's going to be corrected anyway, man. Okay, that's why the scripture says, what in Thessalonians, and to those who are troubled, rest with us. Okay. We are resting on, under the word of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. Because we know things are going to be corrected eventually. Okay. The truth will always come out. The truth always wins. Yeah. Despite all these different heresies, all these different lies that have been pushed okay, upon the masses, upon the world, the truth always wins. The, the truth always comes comes out on top. Because the truth is of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. Hashim Rakao Kadash. Uh, it is a St. John 8 and uh, 44. For, for two, Yahweh Shah said, said unto them, If the Most High were your father, you would love me. Okay. It says, For I proceed forth and came from the Most High. It says, Neither came I of myself, but he have sent me. All right. so, showing the different, um, uh, the, the different levels between the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son are not the same. How the hell can you send your own self, man? What the hell are you gonna do? You're gonna split yourself in half? That's vain, man. Okay, that's fucking blasphemy. Saying the Father and the Son are the, are, are the same, the same entity. That's not the case. The Father is the Father, the Son is the Son, man. Okay, 
scripture says what in Proverbs is kiss the sun, let's see in Psalms as well. Kiss the sun, let's see be angry. What? Okay. So we worship Yahweh Shai, man. He deserves to be, he, he ought to be worshipped. Okay, because all glory, dominion, and power has been given unto him. And he's the one who's coming to what? Uh, to execute judgment. Because we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay. We're going to receive the reward. That's why he says in Revelation 22, it says what his reward is with him. Okay. So so why not bow down to Yahweh Shai and fear him and serve him? It's going to show you, man, people are just lost. Uh, they, don't under, they, don't, they don't even have the understanding of the Holy Scriptures. They don't, they don't even know what's in this book. Yeah? And yet they're going to come and claim that they believe in the law. They don't believe, they don't, they don't believe, they, the, the only law that they believe in is Baal. That's the law that, that, that they believe in. Okay, the Lord of the flies. That's who they believe in. That's who they worship. Satan. Huh? This is uh, St. John chapter 8 and... Uh, Verse 43 says, Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Because you can receive this word because your ears are dull of hearing. Okay, your ears are still uncircumcised. Okay, in heart and in spirit. You, st you still can't receive the truth. Because uh, you're not of the truth. Okay. The most high has rejected two thirds of Yasharala. Ezekiel what? Was that in Ezekiel 22? Verse 19 to 20. Nine, verse 19 to, uh, to 20 to 20, 22 uh, to 23 okay the Mosai has reserved you unto fire he's gonna melt two thirds of Yasharala man okay because you're still blinded you can hear the word of Yahweh when you go through the, the book of I was in Ezekiel 21 okay you go through it gives you a whole list of, of list of rebellions man that have been happening because two thirds of Yasharala always had a problem with hearing the ways of the Lord, the truth, the whole volume of the book. Okay, it says St. John 8, verse 43 says, Why do you not understand my speech? Yeah, we gotta understand, we have the understanding and the reasons behind you not understanding our sayings. They never, they ne they never understood the sayings of Yahweh Shah, so it is impossible for them to have the understanding of what we're doing, of what we're saying. Okay, the truth that we, 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 are, we are preaching. Okay, salvation unto the 12 tribes. They can't, hear, they can't understand that. Because they are not of the Father. This, this is exactly what the Lord is saying right now. You, you can, you, you, though you may be born in Israel by birth, if your spirit is not right, okay, guess what? The Moses has already rejected you. You're not of him. You must come through what come through the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, in order for you to be accepted of the Mosah, Yahweh. Why? Says, uh, why do you not understand my speech? Even because he cannot hear my word. Uh, you know what? Let's get in Job 6. Let's get another precept in Job chapter 6. Because you can hear the word of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Why? Because we're not bothered by all of that, man. Oh, it's a joke of this uh, six. This is a joke at the six and verse, uh, verse 25. Okay, because this word is more than enough unto those who are of, of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakab Kadash. It's not going to be a difficult thing to understand this truth, man. Okay, it's not gonna be, be be a difficult thing, man. Okay, you don't need a a, uh, a scientific calculator, okay, to work up to work up this thing, man. You just need the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Asha Harakakatash to be imparted upon you, man. Okay, you need the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Asha to be dealing with you. Okay, if if that be not the case, look, man, you're gonna be blinded. Okay, you're gonna remain in the congregation of the dead. Because you're going to be still be wandering of the way of understanding, lacking the truth. Okay, having no knowledge, no understanding, no wisdom. This is a Job chapter 6, uh, verse uh, 25 says, How forcible are right ways? Because uh, these ways are, are, are forcible and are, are right ways. Okay, they're forcible. We're persuaded by the ways of Yahweh Shemasha. The, from the moment when we saw uh, the elder apostles, elders on down, of great most on the Akim. That's all he took. 
Okay, because these words are right. Psalms 19 says, says the law of the Most High is right, converting the soul. Okay, so your soul must be right in the first place in order for you to be converted, in order for you to believe the word of Yahweh Hashem You see, all these things go, they all tie up, tie up, tie up together. They all go hand in hand. In hand. Okay, it says, uh, it says how forcible are right words, but what of your arguing prove? All right, we're not gonna go back and forth, man. We're not gonna go back and forth. Okay, so for now the first chapter says, "Well, keep silent; the day of the Lord is at hand." Okay, we're not gonna be going back and forth, back and forth. If you don't see it, guess what? If you still you want proof, the physical proof of this this being the truth, you're gonna see it when World War Three kicks in, man. Okay, you're gonna be part of part of the evidence of Yah Bashi Nasha. You're gonna be part of of the evidence, man. You're gonna be crushed. Okay, you're gonna be part of the casualties. Okay, because you fail to believe in the Lord. Okay. And come and serve him with fear and trembling. So you're gonna be part of that proof very soon. That's how this thing is gonna go down. Okay. That's what like I read in first, first Samuel 15. Okay, to obey is better is, is uh, it is better than sacrifice. You're gonna realize very soon, but it's too, it's all gonna to be too late. That's why the Lord says, But they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay. Let's get this uh This uh, act, the Romans, it's like it. It's a Thessalonians. This is a First Thessalonians. Oh, this is a First Thessalonians. Uh, chapter two. Let me start at verse thirteen. Uh, this is a Second Thessalonians, uh, chapter two, verse uh, thirteen. So, for this cause. For this cause also we thank the Most High without ceasing. Okay, that's why we say Brakta Yahabah Shemel Shai, man. Okay, Tawara Yahabah Shemel Shai. Alright? For shining this light of the kingdom in our eyes, man. Okay, Lord willing, man, we endure this thing unto the end. Okay, and we pray that, we, that you will take the Holy Spirit from us and that we keep striving for the truth unto death. Okay, until we be delivered. Alright? There's a second to, there's a first Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. Just for this cause, also we we thank the Most High, Yahweh Pashmi Al Shai, without ceasing. All right, because when ye received the word of the Most High, which is just which uh, ye heard of us, ye receive it not as the word of men, but as as says, but as it is in the truth, the word of the Most High, which which effectually worketh also in you that believe. Uh, because this. What we okay, what beginning with the elders, apostles on down we've been doing, and the rest of the Akim are coming up right now. Okay, this is the truth. Okay, it is not the word of man, but it's of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Okay, it is wholly inspired. Okay, it is through the inspiration of the Almighty. Okay, Revelation 11 and 11. Okay, that we're able to stand up, stand up, to be standing upon our feet in 2018, the year of prophecy. Okay, it's because of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. It is not of men. This counsel is not of men. Okay, like the scripture says in the book of Acts, if this counsel be of men, it shall come to naught. So therefore, let these men alone. Okay, because the wicked of our own, they can't do that. Okay, you fucking evils, you can't do that. All right, because we're working opposite to your wickedness, man. Okay, because we're shining the light on, 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 upon you, all your different wickedness that you've been doing. We're shining that light unto you. And you just don't like it. You just don't. You don't like it, all right? Because this light is just too much, man. It's too revealing. Okay, all the secret, secret, uh, secret parts of man. Okay, the scripture says in the Book of Proverbs, the spirit of man is what is a candle. Okay, so the Most High sees everything. You can't hide nothing for the Most High. It is impossible for you to do that. Okay, it is impossible. In Ecclesiastes says, "Why these eyes are ten thousand brighter than the sun." So you can't hide from Yahweh Bashim Yashai. It is impossible for you to do that. Okay. So Second Thessalonians again in chapter two, or at verse, uh, uh, verse, uh, verse fourteen it says, "For ye brethren, so like you." So like you. Let's get another one. Second Thessalonians, like you. The Second Thessalonians chapter two. 
All right, verse 11 says, For this cause the Most High shall, shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. All right? They're not believing the truth, but they're believing in lies, deceptions, man. All kinds of madness. Now the new thing is what? Uh, uh, Judah is no longer Judah, man. Now the Judah is now the old Hamites. All right? That's the new thing right now happening right now. Okay. That's why we want to see the kingdom being established. We're sick and tired of this different envies, all these different contentions and strives among the tribes. Uh, we're sick and tired of seeing all of that, man. Okay. Now Judah now is no longer Judah. No, no, this, okay, now Judah, Benjamin, and Levi are now, are now Hamites. Okay, we just can't wait for the kingdom to be established, man. Okay, so we can finally rest. Okay, this place is not our rest. It's going to be destroyed by fire. Okay, this current society, man, is going down the drains. Okay, the economy is going to fucking crash. Yeah, your money is going to be fucking be worthless in that day. So what the hell are you going to do in that day? Yeah, because you're going to lack faith. You would, you would, you would, you would have failed uh, to serve Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shah. What the hell is going to keep you safe in that day? You're not going to be safe, man. The summer is past and low. We're not safe. We're not safe in this place. The only safe place is under under Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shah, Hashim Rakakotash. Okay. That's the only faith, uh, uh, safe haven. Okay, Psalms 91, under, under the, all wing, the mighty wings of the Almighty. That's the only safe place to be at. Okay, so that when, when, even if you have to die, you're going to have to die for the truth. Okay, and those who, who, who die for the truth's sake, okay, for, for the sake of the gospel, for, the, for, the, for defending the gospel of Yahweh Hashem it's going to be what? It's going to be an automatic crown. The dead in, in, in Yahweh Shah shall, shall arise first. In Thessalonians goes into that. Okay, that's why Yahweh Shah said in the book of Revelation, the first chapter says, Look, man, I'm the one who was dead and now I'm alive evermore. So there's no such thing as death. Okay, we only rest from our labors. That's how this thing goes, man. We only rest from our, from our labors. That's how this thing goes. Okay. Okay, that's what the scripture says. What in them that are in Yahweh Shemah Shah, there's no fear. Okay, perfect love casteth all fear. Yeah, perfect love. When you when you have fully immersed yourself, okay, under Yahweh Shemah Shah, you're not gonna fear. There's nothing to fear. Okay, what is man? Isaiah says what? Isaiah 40, I believe says what? What is man? Okay, who's, who's, who's nothing but what? Like grass, they all wither away. There's nothing to, to fear of these of these of these, these lost souls, man. Only all, the only thing you gotta fear is Yahweh, or Shem Yahweh Shah, or Waharaka Kadash, and confess Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. What is day? Okay. Let's go back to Thessalonians. The Second Thessalonians. Oh, there's a Second Thessalonians, uh, uh, chapter two. Verse 11 says, For this cause the Most High shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And they, they believe in the lie. The lie of what? Christianity. Okay, the lie of Islam. The lies of all these different philosophies. It is, if it's not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rakal Kadash, it is a lie. Uh, it is not of the truth. Uh, if, if it does not come out of the scriptures, Isaiah 8 and 20, uh, 8, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 22, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no truth in them, neither no light in them. That means what? Well, there's no Yahweh Shah is not within you. Okay, because he, he, well, he is that light, Yahweh Shah. Okay, he's the what? The light of the wall, Yahweh Shah. Because if you don't have Yahweh Shah, that means what? Well, you, you are in darkness. So you, you can declare the truth. It is impossible for you to be, to, to be declaring the truth of Yahweh Shah. Alright? It says uh, that they. It says that they may all be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. You're already damned, okay? You're already condemned by Yahweh Hashim Yashah for you believing in that fucking nonsense in Christianity, yeah? Our plantation Christianity. You already condemned yourself by believing that nonsense, man. Believing in Allah, in Buddha, in Jesus, our sweet, our sweet, sweet, our sweet lover boy CJ. Uh, you already condemned by believing those lies. Because you know, believing in the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, knowing that you, you are a Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite, okay, you already condemned yourselves by believing in these lies. Okay, believing in equal rights, you already condemned yourselves by doing that. That's why, we, that, hey, 
That's why Yahweh Shai said this, let the blind lead the blind. Okay, let them alone. They shall all eventually fall into a ditch. Huh? They shall all fall to, into a ditch. Okay. If you righteous, be righteous, man. If you wicked, be wicked still. Okay. All right, says, so, uh, 2 Thessalonians uh, 2 and uh, 13 says, But we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren and beloved of the Lord Yahweh Shai, because the Most High Yahweh have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through the sanctification of the Spirit and to believe and the belief of the truth from the beginning. Okay, you must know the truth in order for you to stand a chance, a shot at salvation. And in order, in, in order for that to happen, you know, it's not even about standing a shot, man. It's about what has been preordained. Okay, Destin, destiny. Okay, what is predestinated? Okay, before the world began. Okay, is that we're going to have Israelites? Okay, so-called Negroes so, in modern-day times, known as so-called known as so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That we're going to wake up, and two thirds are going to die. Only a third, or one, or one third are going to see salvation, are going to be saved. The rest are going to be blinded because this thing is already ordained by Yahweh Hashem. There are those who are going to keep on being having that uh, rebellious spirit upon them. There's nothing that can be done for them. Okay, there's nothing that can be done for them. Because this is the show and the program of Yahweh Hashem. Okay, there's nothing else that, that can be done. Okay. Alright, says, uh, says uh, through the sanctification of the Spirit, and he says, uh, and believe of the truth. The belief of the truth, uh, let's go back to St. John 8, chapter 8. Okay, this is St. John chapter 8. Uh, this is St. John chapter 8. Uh, this, uh, uh, this is St. John chapter 8, verse, uh, so it speaks about the sanctification. Okay. This is a uh, of, of the truth. Uh, this is St. John chapter 8, verse 32. It says, And he shall know the truth, and the truth shall make him free. The truth. Okay. And what is the truth? The Most High is only dealing with the 12 tribes. Okay. The, the chosen nation is still the 12 tribes, a holy nation unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yashar, till this very day. And that is the truth that's going to set you free in these last days. Okay. Nothing else that's going to set you free. Because all these different philosophies are what? Uh, are nothing but chains. Okay. The change of darkness, okay, heavy change of darkness are, are still leading you astray. You still don't understand the truth of who you are in, in this day. Of uh, course, you don't know the truth. You, you have rejected the truth of Yahweh and who he is. His name, you've denied his name, okay. Who, who the chosen nation is, okay, you, you have opened, you, you, you keep saying the Most High uh, he has why he has his arms open unto all the nations. And, and, and that is not the case. Yahweh Pashim Yashah is only dealing with the 12 tribes of Jacob. Okay? And that is just a fact. The Most High does not change. Malachi 3 and 6. Uh, he, the Hebrews was a 9th chapter. Speaks about Yahweh Shah the same yesterday and today and forevermore. So the Father and the Son, they do not change. Okay? They all got the same mind. Because uh, the same mind which the Father has, the same mind. Uh, that, that the son has okay that's why he's coming back on the behalf of the father Yahweh Shai okay on behalf of, of the Mosai Yahweh okay he's going to execute judgment okay he's not going to go astray when, he, when he's going to be executing judgment okay he's not Yahweh Shai no, he's not going to uh, uh, bam, some, bam, some, bam, some, 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 some mistake he's not going to send forth his angels and going to end up uh, gathering the wheat it's like the, the, the tears uh, the heathens into the chariots, it's not going to happen. Okay, because the Father and the Son, they got the, the, the exact same mind. Okay, that's why Yahweh Shah is coming on his way. That's why Yahweh Shah is going to return. Okay, and that's part of the truth. Isaiah 14 and 1 says, Get with the Lord who choose. Okay, the 12 sons of Jacob. Let's get that in Isaiah 14, because that's the part of the truth that's going to set you free. Uh, and you're not going to find the truth in these hallowed houses. Okay, this is Isaiah 14, uh, verse 1. This is, uh, 
It's Isaiah chapter 14 and one says, For the Lord will yet have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Oh, that's the truth. Okay, that's supposed to set you free. When you go through the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter, beginning from the first, first verse, okay, when he speaks about us being commanded to speak uh, comfortably, meaning what? Speaking to you the truth, man. Tell you, look, man. Okay, okay. The punishment of our iniquities is what is, 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 it is accomplished. Okay, when you, when you, when you jump down to, to, to the 17th chapter, it speaks about how these nations are nothing. Okay? That's, that, these are some of the things that are supposed to comfort you, man. Knowing, knowing that we have been chosen of the Alba Shemasha, okay, and that, that we are still a holy and peculiar treasure before His sight unto this very day. That's what's supposed to give comfort unto you. Alright, so Isaiah 14 and 1 says, says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, the, the Israel foreigners. This, these are the ones that are going to be joined unto Yahushua. Okay, unto Yahushua. Come back to our nationality, okay, to who we are. Okay, our pure minds be spared by the way of what, by the way of remembrance to, to, to who we are as a nation. Okay, that's how this thing is going down. Okay, this is how this, this, the, uh, the Holy Scriptures have been, have, been, have, been, have been scripted. Okay, everything is ordained of Yahab Hashem Yahushah. Okay, every single thing is ordained of Yahab Hashem Yahushah. Nothing ever happens without this will, without, without his say so. Okay, and this is what the Most High has wrought, has wrought, as it says in the book of Numbers 23. Okay, this, uh, this, uh, Verse 2 says, And the people shall take them and bring them into their place. And the, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Okay, so that's, that shows you a, a, a very distinctive, uh, uh, a distinct difference between these, these are these strangers, okay, these kind of two strangers in Isaiah 14. They're, they're the strangers, okay, who are what? Who are Israel foreigners who have, who, who have been cleaving unto the ways of the nations. But now the Mosai is bringing them back. Okay, he's bringing the lost sheep. Yahweh Shah says, Look, man, other flock, which other sheep of which is of this fold, of this flock, which I must bring. Okay, that, that's what he's speaking about in Isaiah 14 and 2. In Isaiah 14 and 1. Okay, these strangers who are going to cleave okay, unto the house of Jacob. Okay, unto the, unto, the, unto the house of Jacob. Okay, going back to the book of Numbers, verse 5 and, now, and 11, those who are going to be re rehearsing the righteous act, because we the, we, are, we are the ones who are able to rehearse these righteous acts, because we, the scripts have been given unto us. That's why we're able to rehearse these righteous acts. And guess what? We're going to perform, okay, these laws. Pursuant to the book of Hebrews 8 and 8, the new covenant, the laws, the commandments being buried within us. So you can put these nations, they do not fit anywhere, okay? They are without, okay? That's what the scripture says in the book of Revelation 11 and 1. 11 and 2 says, The temple without, without, which is without, measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles. All uh, right? Let's get that in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the editions of Esther, in the Apocrypha, okay? Because this whole thing, this whole notion that we all came out of Adam, I mean, it's, that shit is all played out, man. That shit don't mean, sh it don't mean nothing, okay? Let's get that one. Oh, let's get this, let's get this preset. All right, it's uh, in the Apocrypha, okay? This is what the Lord says, okay? This is, this is a, uh, it says, uh, this is the part, it says the part of the 10th chapter uh, after the Greek, okay? This is the, the rest of the chapters of the of the book of Esther, okay? It says, uh, let's, let's go to this, it says, uh, verse 10, it says, let me start out, it says, uh, verse 9, it says, and the nations, it says, and, it says, and my nation, 
is this Israel which cried uh, to the Most High and was saved. Those, meaning what the ones who could never be able to cry unto the Lord and be saved and be healed and be converted are the Israelites. So these nations cannot cry unto Yahweh and be saved. The Lord says what? The, uh, it says the prayer of, of, of the wicked is an abomination. Okay, the prayer of the wicked is what is an abomination before him. So how the heck can you, can you possibly try to fit any of these nations into the picture? It is impossible. It is pure madness. Okay. It says, uh, it says, and the Lord have delivered us from all these evils. And the Most High have, have wrought uh, signs and great wonders which have not been done among the Gentiles. Uh, so therefore have we made two laws, one for the people of the Most High and another for all the Gentiles. Because what? Because the, there's been a separation that, that has been ordained. Okay, the boundaries have been set. Okay, Deuteronomy 32 says, But the Most High divided the nation, he separated the sons of Adam. We know they're all the same. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing because well, we, all, we all come out of Adam. As if that's supposed to mean anything. It doesn't mean anything that we all come out of Adam. Okay. Of him come you all. Okay, out of Adam. But there's also a nation whom the Lord has chosen out of Adam. And that covenant which he made unto the sons of Jacob still stands. Okay. Because you nations, man, you all go into slavery. Every single last one of you, man. Uh, every single last one of you, every single last one of you all go into captivity very soon. Okay, you're going to be bound up in chains. Okay, Psalms 149. Okay, to bind up the nobles with fetters of iron. It's only the fetters of iron because look what you have done, man. You should all be eradicated, man. The scripture says, What well, touch not mine anointed and do myself as my prophets know how. A holy nation, man. Okay. These nations be able to touch us. I mean, hey Amen. Let's go to show you how much of a low vibration as a nation we are right now. Okay, but the standard has been raised back up through the elect. Okay, that's, that's how the Most High is beginning to rectify the situation. Okay, through the remnant. Though we be as the sand of the sea, okay, yet shall the remnant be saved. Okay, let's get another one. Uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter 17. Uh, it's Ecclesiasticus chapter 17, verse 17. It says, For the division, it says, In the division of the nations of the whole earth, he said, The ruler over every people. Because uh, well, because nations have been divided. Okay, that's why the Tower of Babel never stood. Okay, because the Most High is not about the unification of nations. Okay, nations mingling themselves with one another. The Most High is not with them. Okay, he's a king that fucking nonsense. Okay. Now it says, uh, Ecclesiastes 17, 17. That's for in the division of the nations of the whole earth, of the whole earth, all nations have been divided. They're all different from one another. Yeah? They're all different from one another. Okay. It says, for the division of the nations, what well, says, says, from, for in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a rule. He set, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Out of all these nations, Israel, the twelve tribes, which are your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay, we are the portion of Yahweh Bashanasha. We belong unto the Heavenly Father. We only, okay, Amos three. And, 3, 1 and 2 says, You only have known of all the families of the earth. So therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. Okay? Because it's only dealing with the 12 tribes. Only you nations you are going to be dealt with by captivity. A long, harsh thousand years of captivity. That's how the Most High is going to be dealing with you very soon. Okay? That's the kind of judgment that, that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is going to be doing unto your you nations, man. Okay? He's going to truly deal with you. Okay? That scripture that it says in the book of Psalms, okay, truly the Lord has been good to Israel. Okay, it's going to be made manifest. You're going to, you're going to see all of you that the Most High is only dealing with the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel only. Okay, and none else. Okay, all the lies are going to be shattered very soon. Okay, they're going to, there's not going to be any more doubt who the Lord is dealing with. Okay, who the Lord loves and who does he hate. Okay, because the God of the Bible has hate. Okay, he loves and he hates. Okay, there's light, there's darkness.
okay you can't have one part without without the other it is impossible okay says so by Israel is a lot of is, is a lot's portion because whom being the it says verse 18 whom being the firstborn he nourished uh, he nourisheth with his with with his with uh, with says uh, with his uh, discipline giving him the light uh, of his love that he not forsake him what is the light the light of the love of the most high he's the law of such commandments for this is love okay that we keep his commandments and his commandments are what not grievous okay that is the light of the of the love of the most high his laws okay of which most people still have this illusion okay that the laws of, of Yahweh shall, shall the Bible has done away with okay of which is, is a goddamn heresy the laws were done away with men okay because uh, if the laws were done away with that means uh, you can do whatever fuck you want to do okay that means you can you can go ahead and fucking have sex with a fucking giraffe and shit that means you you can do all kind of fucking shit Okay, that, that will mean it will be an open season for everything. Okay, officially that's not the case. Okay, there's no fucking open season for everything. Okay, that's not how the Yahweh Bashima Shah deals. Okay, that's not the order which the Heavenly Father have set up. Okay, that's not the order which the Heavenly Father have set up. There's good and there is bad, there's light, there's darkness. There's no in between. Right? It's either you serve the Lord or you don't serve the Lord, you serve Satan. There's no in between. Yeah? That's why that's why Yahweh Shah said in the book of Revelation, which okay, it says, I would that, that you were hot or cold. You can't be lukewarm. It's either you serve the Lord or you don't serve the Lord. It's either it's either you're an enemy or you're a friend, you're part of the friends of Yahweh Shah. Okay? There's no in between. Okay, no man can serve two masters. It is impossible for that to happen. Okay. It says uh, Ecclesiastes 17. Okay, it is Ecclesiastes chapter 17 and verse uh, 18. It says, whom being, being, being his firstborn, he nourisheth him with his, uh, with his discipline. Okay, because well, we get chastised as a nation. Man. Look what happened with the transatlantic slave trade, man. The most I said, look, man, if you disobeyed my word, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 on down, says, this is what, these are the curses that are going to befall you. Okay. That's how we got chastised, okay, with the discipline of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, Hosea 8 and 8, we, we still swallowed up among these nations. Okay, we still chastise. Look at that, let's get that in Baruch very cool. Uh, this is a book of Baruch. Uh, it's a Baruch chapter 3 verse, uh, verse, 8, verse 8 says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to, and to be subject to payment, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which have departed from the, from the Lord our power. Because we are yet this day in our captivity. Okay, these are the part of the judgment of Yahweh Pah Shem Yahusha. Uh, we still fill in the brunt. Okay. We, we still fill in the rod, okay, of correction from Yahweh Pahashim Yahushah. Uh, going back to the book of Hebrews, it says, well, it, is, it says the Most High deals with our sons when we get chastised. Okay. That's who the Most High is dealing with. As many as I love, as many as I accept and receive, I rebuke. Okay. Let's go back to Ecclesiastic. All right. It's like Ecclesiasticus. 17. Alright, this is a uh, book of uh, Ecclesiasticus 17. Alright, so since we are the first bomb, we're going to get chastised, man. Because we we're supposed to know better, man. Because all the audiences of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshah, all these things have been revealed unto us. Deuteronomy 29 and 29. Okay, the secret things of the Most High have been made manifest unto us. So you can't make up no excuse of not knowing and not saving Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshah. Okay, that's why we've been, we've, been, we've, been, we've been punished. Okay, it is a punishment to live among these nations, man. Alright, but guess what? It's all been fulfilled right now. Not, 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 not any longer, man, shall we suffer this, man. Okay. We're heading straight for the kingdom of heaven. 
uh, which is going to be established upon righteousness. Okay, no more be, being rebellious, being rebellious and disobedient against your Abashim Shah. We're going to keep these laws, to, I mean, perfectly, because uh, they're going to be programmed within us, man. All right. No more forgetting precepts. Okay. None of that, man. All, all this is going to be one heck of a bad night, man. King David said, look, man, when the Mosad delivered Israel, it was all like, like an unto a dream. Okay. That's what the Mosad said. He said, look, man, this, this thing was all like, like what? Like, like, like an unto a dream. When the Mosad delivered us, the same thing is going to happen in our lifetime, man. We're going to wake up out of this fucking uh, dream. This nightmare. It's not even a dream, man. Okay? This is not even a dream. It is a nightmare. A horrific nightmare. Alright? We're not safe, man. Okay? We're not safe in this place. Okay? We are not safe at all. Okay? We're not safe. Let's go back to Ecclesiasticus. You know what? Let me get, let's get a Psalm 33. Oh, this is a book of Psalm 33. And uh, since I speak about the Musa, does, does not forsake us. Okay, let's get that in Psalm 33. This is a book of Psalms. Uh, 33 verse. Uh, Uh, instead of verse 11, this is uh, Psalms chapter 33, verse, uh, verse 11 says, The counsel of the Lord standing forever. It says, The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Who is this generation unto all these generations that the thoughts are going to be always, always remain? Okay, to the thoughts of, of the Israelites. Okay, that's who the Most High is dealing with. Okay. That's what Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha is dealing with unto all generations. Okay, the, the generations of who? Of, of, the descend, of the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's who the Heavenly Father is dealing with. Okay, we will never, we, we were never forsaken of Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha. His counsel still stands unto this very day. Part of this counsel is what is us being chosen and all these nations going back into perdition. Okay, going into captivity. That is what has been ordained of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. That's part of the counsel of the Heavenly Father. Right? Of which most people are, are coming against all of that, man. Right? That's why the Lord says, Look, man, all come ye, all ye nations, and assemble yourselves, and ye shall be brought to naught. Okay? There's no wisdom, no, no counsel, no understanding against the Lord. The scripture says, Why well, the Lord knows the thoughts of men, and they are all vanity. Okay? Because His counsel, His purpose will always stand. Okay. Uh, it's the Psalms 30, 33 verse, verse. All right. Verse, uh, verse, verse 11 says, The counsel of the Lord standeth sure. The thoughts of, says, The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose, whose power is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, for the Lord whom, whom we have chosen for his own inheritance. Okay, for his own inheritance, the Lord chose you sons of Jacob. Okay, you so-called black, uh, black Afri African Americans, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Hispanics, so-called. You are the Israelites of the Bible that the Bible speaks of. Okay, we are the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, we're not black. Okay, we're not Native American. Okay, we're not Latino. Okay, we are none of that, man. We're not fucking Africans, but, but we are the Israelites. Okay, and those of you who have been scattered among these nations, Okay, you better fucking wake up, okay, or stay asleep and be destroyed, okay. If you if you don't wake up, the most is simply is sim simply not gonna heal you, okay. Simple as that. Ah, right, this is Psalm 33 and 12. Says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and it says and the people whom He have chosen for His own inheritance. So He chose one nation, okay, the the sons of Jacob. From Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to the sons of Jacob, the 12 sons, the 12 tribes, the whole nation. Jacob's name was changed to what? To Israel. Yashar Allah. So the Lord does not change. 
okay, he does not change at all. And all you eat of us, you're gonna be fucking be destroyed very soon, man. Huh? You're gonna be bound up in chains. You Hamas, aka the African man, you're going to captivity. Okay, the Ishmaelites, aka the Arab man, going to captivity. The East Indian man, going to captivity. Elam, all you nations, Amen and Moab, the Japanese and Chinese, all you nations, the Jephites, all you nations, you're all going to captivity. Every single last one of you. Huh? Because you're not chosen. And you're still exalting yourselves above the chosen. Okay. That's why the Lord's going to judge you so gruesomely. Okay. Let's get that in the book of Micah. Okay. This is the book of Micah. Let's get the book of Micah. Because we live in the days of judgment. Uh, this is of Micah. The Lord said, said this, man. Okay. This is Micah chapter 5. Verse 15 says, I will execute judge vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen. Okay, all you heathens, man. Out of all, out of all these 18 nations, 17 nations, you're all heathens. Okay, and out of the chosen, we got what? Well, out of the chosen nation, we got we got these damn fucking crazy ass fucking pieces of shit. Two thirds, man. Okay, the ones who are abnormal, the degenerates. Okay, Jeremiah goes into this. He says, look man, I've planted thee a noble vine. Yeah? How is it that thou was turn, turn into this degenerate plant? Okay, so judgment are gonna come. Judgment is coming. Uh, day in and day in, okay, judgment have been executed by the wicked. They don't, they, they're not laying that into heart. They don't see that. Okay, because the most the most has planted them. Okay, thinking like, you know, you know what? Let's join hand in hand. Look man, though join hand hand in hand, the wicked shall not at all be be what? Be unpunished. Okay. So so go ahead, join yourself unto these nations, man. But you still gonna you still gonna go down with these nations. Okay, you're gonna go down with these Hamites, you're gonna go down with Esau, Edom, you're gonna go down with Ishmael, you're gonna go down with Elam. Okay, you're gonna go down with these Jephites. You're gonna go down with these nations, man. Okay. Because you've forsaken Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Preparing the table for that truth. Almost I was going to destroy your ass for that, man. Okay. This is Micah 5 and 15. It says, For I will execute your vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they, such as they have not heard. Okay. Because the Lord is very well. He's angry. The scripture says that in Psalms, the seventh chapter, the Lord is angry with the wicked every single day. He's still angry, man. Okay, in case you, you haven't noticed, the Lord is angry. He's hella furious, furious. Okay, he's displeased. Okay. Okay, with, uh, with the... Okay, the, the Heavenly Father is, is highly displeased okay, with how things have been run, okay, right, right now. Okay, he, he doesn't like one thing about this place. The only pleasing, the only pleasing thing unto unto Yahweh Bashim is to those who serve him. Okay, it's those who are serving Yahweh Bashim That's the only pleasing thing before the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Those who believe in him. Okay, or was that in Romans 12? Those who are presenting their bodies as, as a as a living sacrifice, as a living sacrifice. These are the ones that Yahweh Bashim is has been pleased with. The rest, Moses is not happy, man. Okay, and that's going to be made manifest when masses, are, when a lot of people are going to start dying by their numbers. That's going to be made manifest very soon. Okay, it's going to be all be made manifest very soon. Okay, let's get Jeremiah, because all you nations, man, know what about dying. And these Christians are full of shit, man. Last week they were not here, man. Because why? Because it was fucking raining. Now this, the weather's nice. They're coming out here. But anyway, man. Hey, everybody's. All people are all standing upon their law. Okay. We can't be envious of the wicked, man. Because we know their end. Okay. Because we, well, we've entered into the house, into the house of Yahweh Shah. Now we understand their, their end. How it's gonna, how, how it's gonna end up. Okay. This is over there one. 
verse 15, chapter 1, verse 15. It says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy war shall be uh, returned upon thine own head. Okay, unto all ye nations, you heathens, judgment is upon you. The day of the Lord is upon you, ye nations. And main, the main objective, okay, the main target is who? It's Esau Edom, aka the so called white man. Okay, so, the so called Caucasian man. That's the main objective that Yahweh Bashmasha is seeking, okay, to make sure he's going to lay down his vengeance, man. Alright? And judgment is, hey, look, man, vengeance is going to be sweet. Yeah? We're still meditating on how, on how, on how we're going to get you, man. Esau. And now, and now all is going to be done when the Lord comes, yeah, at the return of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. Zephaniah 2 and 8, 2 and 8, 3 and 8 says, Wake ye upon me, saith the Lord. Yeah, we are patiently waiting until Yahweh Shah's return, all right, so that judgment can finally be executed, man. Okay, so we can have you nations bound up in chains, yeah, and that's what's going to happen. We're going to have you, okay, bound up in chains very soon. Because your day is up, man. Okay? Your day is up. The, the time is up. Yeah? Your time is up. This is Psalms 118. Verse 10 says, All nations compass me about, but in the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakatash, will I destroy them? Yeah? We still compass about these nations. All right? The Most High is going to raise up the standard. When the, okay? When the flood comes in, the Most High is going to raise up that standard. Spiritual power, man. Okay, it's all going to begin with, what, with miracles, with healing. And it's all going to be, what, it's going to be all be escalated even further. Okay, the standard is going to be raised up, man. Spiritual power, man. Okay, unprecedented, okay, unhuman, like, uh, power, uh, strength. Okay, these are the part, part, uh, part of the promises unto those who wait. Upon Yahweh Shema shall they that wait upon Yahweh Shema shall shall you renew their strength, okay? And they shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall fly. Yeah, the standard is going to be raised up, man. So we don't fear shit, okay? We only fear the judgments of Yahweh Shema shall. Those who are rebellion, th those who are still being rebellious against Yahweh Shema shall. You see, He's the God of judgment. Yeah. He is known by the judgment which he executes. You don't want you, you want to see your, you, you do not want to wish to see yourself being part of those who want to be executed very soon. Okay? Because this kind of judgment is coming. Look, man, it is the worst kind of judgment ever. Yeah? It is the worst kind of judgment ever in history. Okay? And it's all gonna happen in, in our lifetime. Yeah, within this generation. The judgment is going to happen within this generation that we're living in. Okay. This is the generation that the Most High is going to finally execute His judgment. Okay. Since the, all the, 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 blood, the blood of the saints have been shed, of the prophets, it's all going to be, be required at this generation. A wicked, okay, a wicked, slothful, rebellious, man, degener degenerate uh, generation, adulterous generation. Is going to be executed horribly yeah and the saints are going to rejoice man the elect are going to rejoice when they see judgment man when you're going to, when we're going to not willing will be of that number okay when all we're going to start seeing our heads rolling down the streets dead bodies left right and center man we're going to be rejoicing man okay this wisdom this knowledge understanding is going to be the stability of our times in that day that's the only thing that's going to keep us keep keep us safe in that day that's the hope that we have in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright, so Psalms 119, 118, and 18, verse 10 says, says, All the nations compass me above, but in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will I destroy them. Because well, they are enemies, these nations. You can trust your enemy, it's impossible. You're going to end up fucking dead. Okay, if you, you, you keep on trusting your enemies. Yeah. It says they compassed me about, yea, they compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord Yahweh Pashim Shah will I destroy them. It says they compass me about like like bees. It says they are quenched as fire of thorns 
for in the name of the Lord uh, we have destroy them. Okay, you know what's going to happen to you, nations, man. Okay, Psalms the second chapter says, "Why do the heathens rage?" Okay, you're still fucking raging unto this day, man. But your councils are all going to come to nothing. Yeah, it is all going to come to fucking nothing. All right, you're all going to be disappointed, man. Okay, you are going to be disappointed. Let's go back to Psalms 33. This is Psalms chapter 33. All right, verse, uh, verse 10 says, says uh, for, for, for the Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. Yeah, it says the counsel of the heathen to naught. He brings it all of it to naught, to nothing. All right, that's why you got to trust in Yahweh Asha and lead not to your own understanding. Uh, cause two thirds the understanding is that look man, we can't fight against Esau. There's no hope. That's like I, I saw this as one of the, the clips that was sent to me on the, on the chat group. Uh, chat of group. Okay. This fucking Baghdad Benjamin Knight. Okay. Man, it's thinking about it, man. When, when that day comes, man, we, uh, he's gonna take the chip. No, man, look man, he left. I'm not gonna bow down, man. The Lord says he had left uh, seven thousand men who have not bowed down at the knees of Baal. Okay, so no, no matter what happens, man, it's not our fault you don't have faith. Those who have faith, these are the ones who are going to get saved. Okay, because you don't believe in the Lord, man. It, it's been made manifest right now who has faith and who don't. Okay, and it's going to be made more and more. Look, man, Edward says, what? Well, then shall it be known who are my chosen. Eventually, it's going to be made manifest who are the chosen. Okay, within the chosen, who are, who are the ones who are truly chosen? Okay, all folly uh, we see right now, this this fucking crazy standard. It's not even a fucking standard, man. This this wheel of jelly system that we set up is going to be brought down very soon. This all really needy shit is all going to be done away with, man. Those who've been deceived, man. Look, man, it's going to be a horrible end for all of you who are, who are still deceived, man. Okay. Those of you who saw the man of the Lord and scoffed and talked shit, you are going to be judged very soon. Yeah? This is Psalms 33, verse 10. It says, The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not. Because uh, His will, His purpose will always stand, no matter what happens. It will always stand. It says, uh, The counsel of the Lord standing forever, the thoughts to, to, to the heart of all the gener of all of all the generations. Okay, that's the point of that. Okay, let's go back to our Psalms. Alright. Oh, this is Psalms. Uh, verse, Psalms 118, verse... Uh, verse 10 says, For all nations confess me about, but in the name of the Lord will I assure them. Because we're looking forward for the destruction of these nations, man. Okay, we want to see you nations getting destroyed, man. Okay. That's our earnest expectation. Scripture speaks about the righteous walking their feet in the blood of the wicked. Okay? That's part of the, our earnest expectation. To see the downfall of these nations, of you nations. Okay, you nations, you other 17 nations. We're looking forward to seeing your downfall, man. Okay? You knowing your help, Ashim Ashai, as we have known him. Yeah? Being bound up in chains. Yeah? The sole of your of your own feet having no rest, man. Laboring and building a city, building okay, different societies as we have done. You're gonna go through all of that, man. You're gonna be you wanna build our our kingdom. Okay, you're gonna be the ones who are gonna be building the kingdom of heaven very soon. That's how this thing is gonna go down. Yeah? That's how this thing is gonna go down, man. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. You're gonna know Yahweh as, as we have known him. Don't you dare think you have escaped me. You, have, you haven't escaped. Okay? You have not escaped at all. Alright? Let's get another one in the book of Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 70. Verse 4 says, Deliver me, O, Lord, o power, out of the hand of the wicked. Out of the hand of unrighteous and cruel men. Who's this unrighteous man and cruel man who must be delivered out of Esau Edom? 
Okay, the so-called Caucasian man and, and, uh, and his sister. We must be delivered from such a man, a cruel man. Okay, a wicked, unrighteous man that we must be delivered out of his hand, out of his clutches, right? and out of his, the hands of these nations, man. Because we have Israel, Israel, Israelites, Israelites, Hebrew Israelites will be scattered among these nations. You're so far gone and lost. You can't even accept, okay, that you were an Israelite man. That's how lost you are, man. You actually think and believe wholeheartedly that you you are fucking here, man. You 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 all these nations, you Elamites. All you, all you Israelites, you've been scattered among these nations. You don't, you don't even come. You don't even want to come, come out of the, the out of the, the mindset of this world. You don't even want to depart and arise out of these places. As it says in Micah two and ten, arise here and depart, for this is not your rest. It shall, it shall surely uh, destroy you. Okay, we're going to go over this all destruction. You're so lost. That's why we must be delivered out of this fucking hellhole. And it's gonna happen, all of it is gonna happen what? In our lifetime. Okay, within this generation. Okay, within this generation, all things are gonna what? They all wanna be fulfilled in this generation. Okay. All right, that's how this thing is gonna go down very soon. All right. And those of you who still cleaving onto the ways of these nations, man, Yahweh Bashim is going to destroy all of you. Okay, two thirds are going to be cut off and die. Okay, eventually. Okay, because Zechariah 13 goes into that. Let's go. Let's get to that, man. Zechariah. Because since you don't want to see yourself being delivered from these nations, from the cruel or clutches of the of the of the nations, the Moses has this in store for you. Ah, right, this is Zephaniah. You know what? Yep, let's get Jeremiah. Salakia, Zephaniah, Zechariah 13. Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 13, verse 8 says, And it shall come to pass in all of the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be left therein. Okay, two thirds are going to be cut off and die. Uh, that's 66.6% .6 of the whole nation. Okay, which are not going to see salvation. Uh, just like what happened in the wilderness, only few made it out. Only the Joshua and Caleb, the following generation, which were born in the wilderness, made it. The rest died alongside the way. Uh, because they were they, they lacked faith. They did not believe in the Lord. They chose rather not to, 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 uh, to believe in the truth. They accepted not the truth. Okay, they, they lacked faith. After seeing all these different miracles, and yet they still rebel. So how much more now? Okay, how much more now? That's why it says an address unto you. Look unto. Let me get that in address. Man. Okay, how much more now? Okay, after them seeing all these. Man, hey, fuck this place, man. Huh? Let's get an address, man. All right, let's get that in address, man. Second address, one. Let's get that. Okay, let's get that scripture in address, man. How much more now? After they saw all these different miracles and they still rebel in the days of Moses, they, they had to die, all of them. Okay, those who lacked faith, they all died. That generation which was who, which, who got uh, uh, delivered throughout Egypt, they all had to die in the wilderness, man. They all had to die, but they saw, yet these are the same ones who saw the miracles, who saw the, the most are uh, uh, parting asunder the Red Sea. They saw it all. Different plagues in Egypt, they saw it all, but they, yet they still rebelled. How much more now? Okay, it's the first address. This is a, this is a, this is a second address, chapter 2. Okay, how much more now? That's what that's what the scripture says in Habakkuk. Uh, the righteous shall live by faith. Okay, by faith. That's how we actually going to receive salvation and receive life and live evermore through faith. All right, this is the second address, chapter two, verse thirty-four says, "And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen." 
complicated because we became as heathens as a nation because of us trans our transgressing the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, our Shem Okay, we became as heathens. Yeah, Hosea the first chapter goes into that. Hey, Yahweh, our Shem Yahushai, Shalak Royam, it's all you fucking fucking heathens, man. Anyway, man. All right, so second end is chapter two, verse uh, verse thirty-four. It says, it says, therefore, it says, therefore, I say unto you, O you heathen, that hear and understand. So it says, look for your shepherd, for ye, for it says, so like it says, he shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand, that shall come in the end of the world. So it's Yahweh Shai is on his way. Uh, he's he's most definitely on his way. Okay, Matthew 24 speaks about speaks speaks about the signs of of, of, of of the times of his return, the times of the end, the end of the world. That's what the, Matthew, the book of Matthew speaks about. And we see all these signs. Speak, they're all speaking, man. Okay, how about the second chapter says what? Well, so so I will stand upon my upon my watch. Okay, it says the vision is yet for an appointed time. Okay. That's how things have been set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Alright? So let's be ready for, for the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Okay, and that, the beginning of the light shining forevermore, it begins with the gospel of the true gospel of the kingdom, of repentance unto the 12 tribes. That's where all these things start from. Okay, it all begins with faith. Okay, believing in the Lord, okay, and His only begotten Son. Okay, the whole volume of the book, not picking and choosing, and having the names in the Hebrew tongue. That's where it all starts from. Okay, everlasting life. Okay, that's where it all starts from. Okay, can you see over there, the Edom is taking a picture over there, man. Okay, maybe a curse off to them. Okay, that's where it all starts from. Okay, look for your shepherd. Okay, you Israelites, that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Seeking Yahweh Shah, because we have all been worked as lost sheep. Okay, we have all went astray, man, as a nation. But the, through the elect shall, be, shall there be salvation. Through the elect of the chosen, okay, the chosen within, within the whole nation is their hope. Okay, hope is not all lost. Because the Most High says, I've left 7,000 men who shall not bow down to the knees of Baal. All right. Let me get another one. So second end is the first chapter. All right, verse uh, verse 30, 35. All right. Because since the multitude failed to see the Lord, all right. So like faith to believe in Yahweh, those who were led through the hand of Moses. Look, look what, like I, like I was saying, so like, like I was saying, how much more things are going to be worse in this lifetime, man. Things are gruesomely fucking worse now. Yeah. That's why we are, we are faith-based. Okay. The righteous and the just, they shall live by faith. All right, this is second address one, verse 35 says, it says, your houses will I give to a, to a people that shall come, which have not heard of me, yet shall, shall believe, to whom I have showed no signs, yet they shall do that I have commanded them. Because uh, now we, we, are, we are moved through the spirit of power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahshah, through faith. Okay? The book of Job goes into that, says what? A man cannot receive Salakia. This is Saint, Saint, Saint John chapter 3, verse 27. A man cannot receive anything except it, give it, except it, it be given unto him from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, there is that spirit in the book of Job 32, I believe. So there is a spirit in man, okay, and the inspiration from the Almighty, which gives him what? The inspiration. Okay, that comes from the Almighty Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's how we're able to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in the first place, man. Okay, through his word. Okay, his word, his grace, and his word is, more, is sufficient for us. It's more than enough for us. Okay, that's what we need, man. Okay, the book of Psalms says, "What he sent forth his word, and he, and he healed us, man." This is the healing process that we go through through the word of Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai. 
being sent for, okay, through his chosen vessel, he serves the prophets. That's how we believe in the Lord. In Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Rakah Hadash. Okay, not as fucking manners of, of, of Christianity, our plantation, our plantation Christianity, Islam, all these different philosophies. We don't believe in that nonsense no more. Okay? Zephaniah, let's get Zephaniah, the second chapter. This is Zephaniah chapter 2. Okay, let's get Zephaniah chapter 2. Because uh, it speaks about our telling you to the strongholds, ye prisoners of hope. Okay, this is Zephaniah chapter 2. Uh, this is the book of Zephaniah. Uh, chapter 2, verse 1. Uh, this is Zephaniah chapter 2. Uh, so like you. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1 says, says, gather yourself together. Yea, gather together, or makes you not desire. Okay, and how are we gotta bring ourselves up? Through the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, that's the only way whereby we gotta bring ourselves together. Okay, not of our own will and our own counsel. Okay, not through the teachings of men and the precepts of men, but through the counsel of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Huh? And that this cannot be, be disputed. Huh? It cannot be disputed at all, because this counsel is of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Waharaka Kadash, yeah, that we are able to stand up on our watch sheet, because that in the wisdom of Simon, chapter 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous men stand up in great boldness, all right, before the face of such as the Lord as, as are afflicted him. Okay, it takes a righteous man to stand up with great boldness. Okay, how was that in Hosea, the 10th chapter? Okay, seeking his face continually, standing up on our watch until he comes. Until the return of Yahweh Shah. That's how long this thing is gonna last for. Okay? This is not a this is not a temporary thing, man. We, okay, we, this is a, we we are in this thing for the long run. Okay? Strive for the truth unto death, and Yahweh Shah will fight for us. Alright? So for now, chapter 2 and 1 says, gather yourself together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you are a nation not desired. Alright? Your nation not desire. We still have the, the goddamn fucking slave trade still happening in 2018, man. Because well, we are a nation not desired. Okay? And we, and we don't see that being, 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 uh, being the headlines on the news. Because we are a nation not desired. That's the reason behind it. Okay? Because well, we are not a nation desired. That's why the Lord is saying, gather yourselves together. Okay? Separate yourselves from the ways of these nations. Okay? Stop gathering among the thorns. Come and serve the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushar with fear and trembling. Okay. Turn ye to the strongholds, ye prisoners of hope. That's the only thing that we have in this place, man. Because uh, all the fashion of this place, well, they're all gonna well, pass away eventually. Okay, that's how this thing is gonna go down. Okay. It's gonna go down with Abu Bar with gruesome judgment very soon. Okay. All right. It says, uh, says, be says before the decree uh, bring forth, before the day pass as chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Because it's going to come, it, it is guaranteed. Uh, the most other, he is the one that makes threats. And he's going to make them, okay, he's going to make them alive, man. He's going to bring them forth. If he says, if you don't repent, I'm going to fucking kill you, you best believe that's going to happen, man. Judgment is going to happen on your fucking ass, man. Keep on being, being rebellious. The time is set. Okay, a, a time of judgment has already been set. Okay. Okay, a time of judgment has already been laid and set forth. Okay. That's why the Lord says, "What in the address?" It says, "Look, man, don't concern yourself how the great multitude are going to perish and die." Yeah, because in Second Peter it speaks about if the righteous be scarcely be saved, where shall the sinners and the ungodly appear? Nowhere in the picture shall, 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 shall they appear. All right? It says, uh, it says before the, the decree bring forth, and the decree is what the two thirds are going to be cut off and die. That fire, okay, those arrows shot from one end of the earth even to the other end, 
it's gonna all gonna have it's, it's all gonna happen okay fire is gonna be brought from on high okay these intercontinental ballistic missiles are gonna be used every single last one of them there's not gonna be one single missile uh, that's not gonna be used they're gonna use every single last one of them that is part of the, the decree which is gonna be be brought forth very soon before that happens you better you, you better be gathering yourselves unto Yahweh Shem Yahushah okay it is for your own good you rebellion against Yahweh Shem Yahushah it is, it is only to your own demise to your own dest destruction okay you have not forsaken Yahweh Shem Yahushah but you have forsaken your own selves to your own hurt and very soon the masses you Israelites Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you two-thirds of you are going to come to that realization very soon. Okay, that you've been rebellious to your own demise, to your own destruction, man. Okay. So Zephaniah 2, our adversary says, Before the day pass as chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, uh, because the day of judgment has been set, okay? The day of judgment has been set in the balance and it's going to happen in our lifetime. Within this generation, let's get that in wisdom of Solomon. Okay, this is a book of our wisdom of Solomon. Okay, let's get that in wisdom of Solomon. This is our wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. This is our wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 19. It says, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. Horrible. It's gonna be all horrific. Okay, it's gonna be nothing but a fucking horrible end to this unrighteous, wicked, okay, wicked generation, man. Pestilences, the teeth of wild beasts, Jeremiah 15 and 15, fire. These are the kind of kind of judgment that are gonna befall the world. Okay, the cosmos, okay, and, and alongside the all you nations, man. Okay, the Orchimani. All you nations, but judgment will begin at the house of the Lord. All right? That's why it's all going to begin. And you can't make no fucking excuses. You know what? I never knew this. There is no excuse. You already know what time we're living in. You already know what times we're living in, man. Okay? The time of World War Three. Okay? The economy is going to fucking crash. You won't, you won't have fucking food. Okay? In the stars, the gold, your money is going to be obsolete. Your money, your, your wealth is going to be worthless. Okay, they're going to implement the, the mark of the beast. Okay, the RFID chip, that's going to be the new currency. Okay. And, 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 and guess what? The counsel of the wicked will not stand. All right? That's why we have full confidence in. The Lord said, look man, he brings the counsel of the wicked to naught. Because this new world order will not stand. Because, it, because it's not the... Because it is not of the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Thus shall it not stand. Okay? Thus shall it not stand at all. But verse 3 says, For seek the Lord. Says, says seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness and seek meekness. It may, says, it may be, ye shall be healed in the day of the Lord's anger. Uh, because the, the Lord's anger is going to be magnified, man. Look, man. J just wait until that day comes, man. All those of you still doubting about the, uh, the times of Jacob's trouble, the, look, man. There will be no more doubts in that day. Yeah? There will be no more doubts in that day. Okay, about the, the day of Jacob's trouble, man. There will be no fucking doubt, man. Are we, not, are we yet in, in, uh, in, uh, in Jacob's trouble? It's June. Huh? There ain't no microchip. It's June, there's, there ain't no martial law. It's June, uh, there, there's no tribulation. It's June, there's no more, pros, there's no prosecution. It's gonna be made manifest. Yeah. The Lord says, then shall it be known who are my chosen. Uh, it's gonna be made manifest who are the chosen of Yahweh, Pashim is. All right. It's gonna be made manifest in that day. All right. Close off the last, it's the last scripture. This is our Matthew 10 and verse 32 says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Uh, the Most High is going to deny a lot of you, man. 
okay you already been rejected denied okay you already been denied and been cancelled out because you failed to, to confess your help Toby 13 and 10, 13 13 and 3 says confessing before the Gentiles because we've been scattered among them okay all praises unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakan, Kadash. Double us unto the elders, apostles of great most all the elders on down. Shalom to you, sincere Akim, doing the will of the work of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, in faith and sincerity. And those of you who believe in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakan, Kadash, Brakatam, to the elect, death, destruction to the society. Alright, Shalom.